consistency clearly from a young player and then also the ability to seamlessly slide from four to five five to four how do you feel you're you're progressing in those areas uh, i think we get better uh you know i think my consistency excuse me consistency just comes with just reps and um i think just getting comfortable and just getting you know used to being out there you know it's tough to to find that you know with uh you know, very minutes, of course, you know what I'm saying? I've been to a point in my career where I've been comfortable and um, felt pretty consistent in my game. So um, for me now, it's just getting back to that point, um, finding the rhythm and uh, just just sticking with it. I think now being able to practice a little bit helps, just finding the rhythm, you know, before it was just games every other day, not much of practice, but now uh, the last two games being off, it helps today. And, um, you know, I got better today uh, with the four and five, something I mentioned probably like a month ago. So um, for me, just keep getting better with that and just um, learning the plays. And, you know, I know them, so um, I feel pretty confident with that and excited going forward. Obviously, no one wants Nurk to get injured, but do you sort of view this next two months or whatever as an opportunity for you to really show your value? I mean, of course. I mean, it's my time to play. Um, my number is going to be called, so uh, it's my opportunity. Um, Obviously, my prayers and my um, condolences are with Big Fella. Just hope he gets better and takes his time. Um, just take care of his body and just, you know, get back fully 100%. Because, you know, I know how it is with just injuries and stuff like that. Just trying to get yourself back together. So, um, just, uh, just let him take his time. Thanks. Next question goes to Jamie Hudson with NBC Sports Northwest. Go ahead, Jamie. Harry, you mentioned how valuable it's been to have these few days. I mean, no one wants right. games to be postponed, but for you right, and right, right. the team, yeah, how how important have these few days been, you think? Very important. I mean, just to be able to really come in here and tighten up on things we need to get better on. I mean, you can talk about it after the game and want to do it, but it's hard to really go work on it when you have a game the next day. You know what I'm saying? It's only so much you can really do without you know overdoing yourself. So. I think this week's been great for us, uh, great energy in the gym, and we've been getting better. So um, excited what we can do Sunday and see if we uh, made any change to what we need to do. Okay, next question goes to Krista Saltis with Sport DNA. Go ahead, Krista. Um, hello, Harry. I would like hey, to Harry. ask you, how is the atmosphere in the, in, in the team after the injuries of uh, CJ and uh, Yusuf? How, is, uh, how could you describe that? Uh, I mean, it's unfortunate, but I mean, we are all pros here, so we have to uh, adjust and adapt to what's going on in the situation and just uh, move on with the group we have now. You know, like I said, uh, we're praying for our guys. Uh, we're here for them, you know, including Zach, too. So um, uh, for us, it's just uh, t getting better at the unit that we have on the floor and have around right now and um, just circle around and just uh, pray for our guys that's out right now, and they're still with us, too. So. Um, just hoping they get healthy and just look forward to them joining us again. And the follow up uh, without uh, those two guys, what aspects of your game that you would like to improve? Say it again. Without uh, Yusuf and CJ on the court, what aspects of your game you would like to improve as a team? Uh, like I said, just just keep playing the way we've been playing. Um, we have to like, adjust to them two being out. So it's just time for other guys to step up. I mean, we know what we need to do. Um, Probably just rely on another kind of main ball handler, primary ball handler with CJ being out and just um, me and Ennis and, excuse me, just I keep hitting the table. Um, all the other guys to step up as bigs and play a big role, you know, with Nurk being out. So, and that's something we're excited about. Uh, we all grind to, to be here. So it's something that we're going to go out there and do. Thank you. Yes, sir. Aaron Fentress, uh, I have your hand up. I don't know if I lowered it or not. So do you have another question? I did. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, noticed this or not, but almost every game, there's a lot of fans out there calling for you to get more minutes. Have, what if right. you did? If you did notice that, how does that make you feel uh, about just the fact that they, you know, the fan base loves you already? Right, uh, that's great. Uh, just want to give a big shout out to the fans, just for so much love and you know, so early, man. It's so early. I wish I could have them here so I could just interact with them and hear them. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, you know, for the most part, I, mean, I see it uh, when, you know, when they tweet at me pretty much. I mean, I know it's a lot too, but um, uh, I, I see it, you know what I'm saying, from time to time. And it, uh, it's a good feeling, but at the same time, I have to just, you know, prepare myself here and get ready. That way I can go out there and make sure that I'm 
you know, on top of what I'm doing. And I guess the fans keep talking about me or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, you never want to disappoint them, but at the same time, you got to go out there and compete. And, you know, wish it was them stuff me in sometime, you know, that'd be great. But uh, I always love, I always appreciate the love too. Thanks. Any other questions for Harry Jowls? Okay, Harry, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate y'all, man.